just give it a second. Connecting, okay. I think we are live, so let's play. I hope you got the thumbnail of me with the gun. <laughs> I hope so too. Let's uh, I'll check everything in a second. I'm gonna push the A song and get rid of this. Pedal with that black metal and that black mask, fuck a hip record. Hold up, nigga, if I could record what I can recall when they hit record. You hear that sound and you hear the trouble coming right around the time you hear the trouble coming. Knock, knock, we let the devil come in. Move hard and with a double stomach. Double comes, couple levels from it. Level something, trying to double something. Always up to something, running up on something with a couple dozen of my humble cousins. Huh, you wanna hand it to you, huh? What is worth then? Better get your ass up, you can't leave from the back, homie. That ain't how that go. Now, nah, homes, that ain't how you was raised. If you ain't making mistakes, you ain't making decisions. Period. Every test correlates, man. As you grow, your test will too. The fuck you think this is, man? Show these niggas. Shit was all good just a year ago. Gave them niggas warnings, they ain't hear them, no. Now they hear the howling and they fear it, though. Flow. These niggas parents in the spirit though Spirit bombs send them all to the spirit realm Spirit no nigga, no fear, they prepared to go Incomparable paragraphs like parables It's like a parable running down on a pair of wolves Here go, you hear hell blaring your ear holes Weirdo, hell no, nigga don't hear those It was a hundred shots last time, you wearing those Niggas sharing hoes, now they can share the hoes But problem starters keep problem solvers, a pair of those Mercy Brothers been this way since we was sharing clothes Pablo Dash, Ricardo Cash, they're the bros Run them up, then run it up, nigga, they're the goals Ain't speaking hypotheticals, rumbles be fucking with you And not cause nothing in you, really, cause something's in you Use a pump the nickels for the pump a nickel For a couple nickels, running up and up the nickel Couldn't rub a nickel, love of a nickel, God is coming at you Kinda get you, be still, you know it all that running get you I wanna let you, think that winning is what I am gonna let you Wanna bet you that you see it different when it is coming at you Let's get it jumping like a kangaroo, hijack a plane or two Fuck you, explain to who, ain't here for entertaining you I end up just arranging you, your living room, pay-per-view Can't it take your paper to, and everything is stable to You witness it, the most ignorant, creep with it in addition to uplifting, I lift this shit. Can't play with you. Can't even make a play. What the tape? Boo, fool. Look what a cape would do. Niggas wear a cape, say cape. Boo, boo. China's escape the bull, but they get around with the A. Boo, fools. Make you fools. Make new moves. Niggas won't lose. Pay the dues. Break a wolf. You cannot do. Take my fool. You make the news. This what I do. Me and the street got Bluetooth. Oh, ain't gotta speak like Mewtwo. Oh, boom, 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 boom. boom. So all you hear when I do move. Oh, space goes me, base over. Lay shit to the base over. Gun high, niggas stay sober. One hour. Pull up some commas, pull up, pull up some commas, pull up some problems, pull up some problems. Gorillas and llamas, gorillas and llamas, gorillas and llamas, bullets and commas, bullets and commas. Pull up some problems, all I know. Pull up some problems, bullets and commas, all I know. Gorillas and llamas, gorillas and llamas, bullets and commas, and pull up some problems. Pull up some problems. Yo. Here comes the cool down. What they gonna do? It's time to get to it now. Right in front of you. It's been living inside me. So please don't indict me. This shit don't excite me. I done just bought it up lightning. Y'all gotta go. Ever since the hearing the wolf. They spent all year with the wolf. It's the year of the wolf. They try to mirror the wolf. Guess it's they fear the wolf. Ain't no chair in the wolf. Bet they won't leer the wolf. hard cut off and bring you the lovely Kells, one of the hardest working good. people in battle rap salute to you Kells. thank you for coming on no thank you thank you for having me absolute pleasure absolute pleasure like i said one of the hardest working people we arranged for a little earlier but you know business calls you had a a face-off 
yes, for one yes. of the events this weekend. You got a three day card this weekend. Just come off the back of a crazy face off. We will talk about that. Um, but for the people, I've got a shout out everyone in the um, whatever that thing is. Shout out everyone watching. Um, share the broadcast and um, yeah for anyone who doesn't know Kels get to know get to know but give me a brief bio of who is Kels um I just do a lot of things URO <laughs> Crucible Scout our society battle league league owner uh, Kels murder management manager and um anything connoisseur oh okay anything connoisseur i like that i like that literally anything. anything not like not anything like i know everything anything like i do anything mm. yeah Sometimes. you can turn your hand to anything that's it whatever wherever the work needs doing yeah 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 yeah. i feel that okay well we're gonna get into all of that um and the reason i asked you on specifically now is because you've got this so you've got a an event a crazy three-day event this weekend you seem to do those multi-day events quite a lot um that's fire and then another big card your eminence card in a couple of weeks so we are gonna um talk about that so tell me um so this weekend you've got unity five and active duty one Mm -hmm. thing i love about osbl is you've got amazing branding um i whenever i see a, an osbl card i know it's an osbl card it's very distinct um you do the repeat events so you know you're on two and three and five of, of events yeah, yeah. um so what's the concept so is it unity five we've got first is it Where's um them? unity unity five is saturday oh, and sunday i could do these two is friday tomorrow so what's the active juicy card so um my active duty concept pretty much is it's like a test for kind of like staff the the very first one i kind of um i challenged my staff three members of my staff i challenged them to see if the skills because they're all battle rappers i challenged them to see if the skills that they use as a battle rapper themselves can they help teach it to other battlers that's fire so sort of paying it forward yes yep so how do they do that so um we each pick three and this this was really for the rookies because like with the higher tier battlers they already know a lot Mm -hmm. the rookies don't know as much as the higher tiers so again it was just to see if they can teach them certain things so like um we each pick three rookies um that haven't touched a main stage on our league yet and we just see if we can mold them into winning uh what's the term what's the term uh, they pretty much they don't know who their opponent is universal uh, they write universal rounds yeah one universal four minute round that's fire that's why and so um so so with the top two battles those are just normal battles and then yeah. you put the teams against each other so yep. how do you select is it a total random selection completely random That's why so with the with the first one i actually called out someone um i called out one of my staff members so we flip a coin if i whoever wins the coin toss you choose if you want to pick your battler first or you choose if the other person picks first i was told to pick first i picked my battler uh, that person based on who I picked, picked their battler, and that's just what it is. Okay. And for okay. the record, I went 3-0 for active duty <laughs> one. That's just a savage thing. They can't do what I do. I went 3-0. Talk your shit, Kels. Talk your shit. I love it. Okay, yeah, I really like that concept. So, um, like you said, paying it forward. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, also kind of, um, I think it it must do something for the battle rappers themselves as well, for the higher tiers. Like, kind of, you've really got to train your eye. You've got to think, mm-hmm. you know, you've got to think about a lot more dynamics than, that are useful for you as a battler that right. you wouldn't necessarily get into if you weren't doing something like this. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, OSBL is um, all about development or from, from what I see. It's about building that grassroots mm-hmm. local talent 
and yep. uh, yeah really developing it working on it so um salute to to that event so um people can pull up to this is it um it so yes it's a private location but you have to get tickets to get the location because it's a super duper small room okay well we don't i don't want to give out the address and people just pull up and then we're at capacity and then y'all came here for nothing yeah so yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense that makes a lot of sense so that's on the friday is it friday yep. the 10th i was so confused because i'm looking up at my computer screen and it says it's friday the 10th already yeah. so um <laughs> yes it definitely uh, reach out to kells if you want to pull up to that that sounds like a really fun event get an mm -hmm. It's, I think it's really good when you can get, you know, don't follow numbers, don't follow big leagues, don't like follow talent, follow talent. talent. And when you can see, talent. like for me being, you know, only a few years in now, there's not so many people that I've seen from the beginning of the journey. So when I do get to see, you know, new battlers and you can see that talent, you can see that star potential and you get to watch them progress, like it's fire, it's fire. Nice. Um, it's so so saturday you've got unity five um yes. so what's the what's the unity concept so um the unity the unity concept was actually started with p with um the very first one the two performance of the nights because now we do um two days excuse me whoever gets performance of the night gets a wild card slap for the crucible oh hey, that's dope that's yeah. super dope that's super dope okay big big opportunity then so and you're on the fifth one that's fire um yeah. so yg princess versus fury montana the young'uns you just had the face off with them right yes. how did yes. that go the face off was amazing it was hilarious and one thing um for everyone that's watching their battle has been uh pushed back to sunday Okay. because shout out to og prana she's on the chrome 23 card on friday and we didn't want her to have to rush to get back home for princess to battle so that yeah. battle has been moved to sunday okay dope dope shout out to og prana and uh so uh why yeah why do you princess is a daughter right mm -hmm. yeah yep. that's dope two of them battling on the same weekend mom and daughter yeah. that's fire. fire that is fire um and then so the the rest you got some ladies on there as well mm -hmm. i love to see it um who on 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 the saturday who's what's the battle that you're most looking forward to seeing um me personally i'm super looking forward to seeing 40k and mr bay okay what sort of battles I've, are they what, yeah, what's, seen, what is it about that one i've seen both of them and i just feel like they're like a performance or two away from like getting over the hump of where they are right now not to say like the hump is like they're not doing nothing it's more so like every everyone needs to to be able to elevate and just get over like whatever tier they're in right now that, and that's like they're both battle. Like, yeah they're both like one or two away fire okay and then the sunday so you've also got uh yg princess and fury montana on this one as well now um and on this one same thing who oh, in fact give me give me the performer i'm gonna make it even more difficult for you give me one name that you think is um gonna come and do something crazy my personal favorite on this card and i did watch everyone but my personal favorite no bias is Sinatra. Okay. And he's from my league. Yeah. But again, it's no bias. I watched every single person's battle. I really feel like Sinatra is going to come in there and get super duper crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I hope he does. And shout out to everyone on that card. So two, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And this one is at Martini's. So yeah, definitely get your tickets yes. for that. The link is on the flyer. You can see it here or reach out to Kells, reach out to OSBL mm -hmm. and um, pull up to that one. I want to talk a little bit more about YG Princess and Fury Montana. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, so, so young, so, so yeah. young. Um, both of them um, really passionate. You know, you've got a um, little slap as well who you would have had on with YG Princess before. Yeah, yeah. Um, this crop of kind of really hungry, passionate teenage battle rappers. Um, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Why, it. why did you decide? So first of all, you booked Slap and, and Princess, and now Montana and Prince. Why did you decide to 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 book them, give them a shot? 
Um, so each league gets a certain amount of picks. I think we get two picks max. And at the time, I was just interested in seeing Princess do a battle. Like when she had just jumped in Prana's um mm-hmm. battle versus Diesel, I believe that's how go check that out. OG Prana versus uh Diesel. When she jumped in that battle, it was like like she's done previous jump ins, but now she's a little older. And she she had a bar like twelve with a twelve. Yeah, it's crazy. Something. What'd she say? Uh had to get the stick out the mud. It's she was wilding. Yeah. She was fire. Yeah. And I just said I wanted to see her do her own full battle. I was ready for that. That's why we initially booked the little sloppy princess. But when that couldn't go down, I was interested in putting her on this and Fury's league owner told me he had a surprise for me. And I I don't like surprises. Like, just tell me what it is. Like, and he told me it was him. And I was like, oh, perfect. Him and Princess, main event. That's, there we go. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, like I said, these... Um, um, and you could that... You can see that kind of potential, that star quality mm-hmm. that, you know, you can see with some more years. If that's how you're, you know, that's how you're working now. Yeah. Goodness. Okay, and then, um, so if I'm, um, how do I get on an OSBL card? How do I get on the roster? How do I become an OSBL battler? What do I need to do if I'm trying, want to try out for your league? So um, we do tryouts. I separate my cards. I have a system where I book all of the big cards, the eminence, the anniversaries, the homecoming, which is another three day weekend situation. But um, Keith Oliver, I believe his at is, I believe on Twitter his at is at Colors Clothing, and I believe it's at Keith Oliver on Instagram. He books the rookies. So anyone that wants to try out or you want to make a debut, that's, you got to hit up Keith. That's the way to go. Okay. And also like introductory to the league, like, even though like some people feel like they've been battling forever, but one thing about me is like, I'm, I have to be completely honest. Like if my crowd, if my league doesn't know you, you gotta get on a basic training, like let them see you first. Mm-hmm. Cause if I put you on my main stage and you just get up there and flop, like that was just a waste for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and they're not going to want to see you back. You've wasted yeah. the shot on the, you know, on a bigger yeah. card yeah. and they don't even rate you like that. Don't want you to come back. You You're not it. selling tickets next time. But so, you gotta yeah. do an introductory battle. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes that's that's the right way to go about it. Mm-hmm. You know, taking, going into a, a, another space, another area, new audience, new supporters. You've got to make them. You know, back home or where you are, you might be the shit, but you go somewhere right. else, and they don't like everyone else is. Right? We've got nothing. people who are the shit. Like, don't know nothing. that's it. Show and prove, and you know the, the supporters will love you. But um, sometimes you got to humble yourself and, and right. yeah, you know, open yourself up to a new market by getting in on the ground floor because they've already got their established guys over there. So I get my tryout. I do well. How do I get? How do I become? Does that automatically qualify me? Am I now OSBL? Do I now, how do Um, I get on the roster? So if you do a tryout, um, we'll then have a conversation with you. Like, are you interested in being on the roster? But if you do an introductory battle, then like you got to tell me that that's what you're trying to do pretty much because we bring, we bring people from out of town all the time. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to steal anyone from the roster that they're on or make it look like I stole anyone. So like a conversation got to be had. We got to be clear about what your intentions are here. Like if you want to join the league, you got to make that clear. But the tryouts, like the ones that have had no battles, one battle, two battle, like they're automatically in the, in the, I guess, running to be a part of the roster. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, so Unity Five, Active GT, and then our twenty fifth is it in a couple yes. of weeks? Yeah, Eminence, Eminence. Eminence Three is it? Yeah, Eminence Three. So talk to me about this card. Eminence is my favorite single day card that we do. My absolute favorite because this is when all of my top tiers get the opportunity to prove why they are top tiers. Mm-hmm. Show and prove every single time. It's literally my favorite card. It's like 
a card full of damn near all main events, kind of mm-hmm. like a gnome, pretty much. Yeah, it's like all of our main events for eminence. Yeah, I love the word as well, eminence. Um, I love it. So yeah, you've got some crazy. But ba- what I want to talk about first is what are the names on the bottom? How does what's that about? Okay, and I have I do this every year. The names on the bottom are all on the card. You just won't know what the matchups are until they are called to the stage. That's so fire. like for an example, whoever the host is, I think we got drugs hosting. Yeah, drugs is hosting. Drugs will call Jack Boy to the stage. He'll ask the crowd like, "Who y'all think Jack Boy is battling?" The crowd will throw a few names out, and then he'll be like, "Hey, such and such, pull up to the stage," and then that's the battle. That's so exciting. They that's so it. exciting. Everyone, everyone gets excited every yeah. single time. Yeah, because it's like that trailer announcement or that battle announcement. Mm-hmm. Every battle, you know, that excitement that you see when a flyer drops or, oh my God, these, but you get that. Or the other way, what? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is it? And then you get to see, you know, the, the mm-hmm. magic happen. You don't get to comment right. for two weeks on Twitter that this is a crap battle and why have they booked? No, you just get to see it and understand <laughs> exactly. why it the league happens. owners do what they do. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I love that then. So Ishmaelah, Jack, Jack Boy, Maine, Northeast Tay, Jade, who like Vito, P Black, Prep, Zeke, Zeke, is it Zeke or Zeke? Zeke? Zeke. Zeke, yeah. Yoga Flame, Ace Boone, P Burner, Villa, Young Jug, and Loma Geechee. They will all be on the card. You just don't mm-hmm. know the matchups. That's fire. There's some dope names in there as well. Um, I, I, yeah, I'd love to see those matchups unveiled live. So, mm-hmm. and then you've got two on two. The saga Elijah Strait versus Eunice and Opa. I yes. love this. Yes. I lo- like that could be a big battle on any other card as well. Like um, obviously Eunice and Opa are a lot newer, but the, the mm-hmm. name that they've made for themselves already, Crazy. they haven't necessarily touched the platforms mm-hmm. that Saga and Elijah Strait has, but you mm-hmm. can see it in their trajectory. You can see, you know, their potential um so as a two on two uh, i cannot cannot wait to see it and the same with with saga and elijah straight um mm-hmm. why why did you book this one this was actually a conversation being had in the spaces and this was before um before Eunice got to gtx before oppa got to king of the dot it was like a random spaces twitter spaces conversation i joined the twitter spaces um and it's funny because I told an, I told someone, like, I'd be drunk when I book some of my best battles, to be completely <laughs> honest. So I, I was drunk. I joined the spaces. I think Eunice was talking crazy to Elijah. And then Elijah said something about him and Saga. And it, it the whole conversation just happened in the spaces. And I said, I'll book it. I don't care. Uh, so organically just yeah. unveiled. And yeah, what a matchup. I cannot wait to see this. Um, and then, oh, my gosh. First Lady Flames and Lady Caution. Uh, this has been, I feel like this has been booked a couple of times and never happened. So, um, or at least it's been talked about. I'm sure it's I've been seen a it. A few conversations. Yeah. Yeah. A few conversations. Yeah. No, and I... um, we were just, uh, was that Atlanta? Yeah, we were just in Atlanta and we were all having a conversation. Again, I'd be drunk. We were all having a conversation and I was like, I'm going to just book y'all battle. Because it, it's been in so many conversations. Just let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. And I think as well, you know, in, in martinis, in DMV, like, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. No, um, yeah, no, I love that these ladies on the card, they've both, you know, both put in some crazy work recently. I hear Caution yeah. um, made a man leave the stage in her last battle. Like, no, nah, he just, he was just there looking stupid. <laughs> He was just looking stupid. Like, Might and well not stupid, but like she was kicking his ass. Yeah. Like, I was like, I was literally watching. Like, not nah, caution is wilding. Like she's wilding him up right now. Like it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. She was super fire. Yeah. No, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see this. Um, and then headlining, you have the Kingpin himself uh, versus Cuban. Mm-hmm. I love this. I love this. Why did you put those two together? Um, so me personally, I really feel like Cuban has a super fire pen. Mm-hmm. He's a little unorthodox in his writing. Definitely. And I feel like 
he needed a battle that would show people like nah he's really serious like y'all have to pay attention to what he's doing because for some reason i feel like cuban he not necessarily hate but like he gets a lot of i don't know like disdain for him for some reason i don't know but um again being drunk me and cuban were at the midnight madness bowling we were at the bar having a conversation and i just said like i just looked at him i was like you a battle chiller he said hell yeah and i said oh bet i called chiller Book the battle right then and there. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that that I see it test the pen against mm-hmm. the you know, the king pen. The, the king kind pen. of that's it. Oh my pen test. Yeah, no, yeah, shout out to Chiller. Shout out to that card and everyone on it. Again, um tickets available. You can mm-hmm. see it on the flyer. Hit up Kells, hit up OSBL. This is a not to be missed. Six PM till midnight, okay. I like yeah. that as well. You're looking like, yeah, that's going to be a lot. Nah, this is going to be my first time trying this on like a Saturday. Yeah. Like Friday, Friday events, because everyone works on Friday. Mm-hmm. I'll do like a 6 p.m. to midnight. And that's cool. It's a Friday. People don't be having stuff to do on Fridays all the time. But Saturday, I'm interested in seeing like the turnout, how everyone is going to be, because Saturday is usually like a big day where everyone has something to do, something to go out and do. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you've put a card together to make that the something to go yeah. out and do. If you're local, yeah. that's the something. That mm-hmm. is the something. Um, now, you just mentioned an unorthodox battler who maybe people have an unusual disdain for and can't quite see where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. Sheed happens. <laughs> Sheed happens. Now, Amazing. yeah. Absolutely. He's um he's KMM, isn't he? Yes. Okay, so Mom. Kells Murder Management. You have not only is you know your 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 OSBL roster card, yeah, um, cards, you know, not only do you have great battlers in your stock as a league, but as mm-hmm. a manager as well, you've got some incredible names um working with you. Yeah. So and Sheed is one of them who is just doing crazy things at the moment. Um losing his damn man yeah let's respectfully yeah respectfully going insane um so he is in the um5 tournament and how did you feel first round when he received all of that backlash for getting the win over none none honestly um it didn't really do anything for me because like she personally has been one of my personal favorite rappers, battlers for a minute. Like when I first saw she, like, I was like, it's something about him. Like he's different as hell. Like it's fire. I fuck with it. Even when I started our league, his first battle on our league was drugs. Like I gave him a name instantly. I've been so confident in Sheed and what he can do. Yeah. Like Sheed is one, like one of my battlers. I don't got to worry about him. Mm. He knows what to do. I'll still give him like, little things like all right make sure you do this make sure you do that but i don't have to Mm. so when i saw like in that first round i think i think on url that was like she's first time being in front of a crowd crowd like on a stage being in front of a crowd and i in the building i loved it like the way they received him i was honestly proud as hell like the reactions was going crazy and i'm just looking like thank you like yeah like he's here finally getting his dust dues and I was honestly a little surprised when people felt like none, none, one, not that, not that none, none wasn't good, but even I told him like myself, like it was certain things that none, none was doing. Like he looked good up there on the stage. He looked comfortable as hell, but it was just like the bars wasn't hitting the same for me for some reason. And it's, it's no bias with she at all. It's just, they, they wasn't hitting the same for me the way that they were hitting for everyone else. And then that, the sheed flip the s h e apostrophe d like he dragged that for me yeah it wasn't he dragged it, was it. And she, she was up there original bars original concept original style like i loved it sometimes a little too original sometimes you can be a yeah. little too different and yeah. i think he, he can he can lose people sometimes i think i think that one as well was from the people in the building they all were very clear on exactly why she'd won whereas mm-hmm. i think it was the audience um watching at home that didn't have that vibe and sometimes 
the in the building vibe is so different and it's not Completely because different. it's not that you know they're any they're worse on cam or anything like that it's that you need to feel you need to th that vibe that energy mm -hmm. doesn't translate the same on the screen and i think um i think she was let down a little by the judges in that this was when it's close like that, when you've got a close battle or when it's perceived to be close, maybe they didn't perceive it to be close. It's important yeah, yeah. to, it was the first one, the first battle of the first round. And I think in just saying, yeah, I got she, basically, it, it leaves the viewers at home like, what, huh? Like, if And the one thing I will say, the first in the building was close to me. And people say none, none won that second. But I, I literally told none, none, like, the rebuttal was crazy. It was fire, but the rest of the round, mm -hmm. to me, didn't live up to the rebuttal. Yeah, yeah. That's what like she got that she got the first and the second. Now the third, I would have to. I feel like she potentially gentlemen's thirty them, but the third, I know she's third got cut off. He really wasn't done. But um, so yeah, he took that win gracefully, um, and then. Truvo, two weeks, two weeks, two Most weeks later. Damn man. Like, hey. these were two rematches for him, too. So it was like, all right, they said I lost to both of these niggas the first time. We going to see if that happens again. Like, that's literally what it was. It's comeback season. Yeah, and you could see, um, or you can see, just how hungry to show and prove Sheed is. To, mm -hmm. to do what he does so flawlessly in two weeks. Because mm -hmm. I think Rashid as well, not only, you know, is it the writing and the memorization, he does so much performance elements and kind of uses his voice in different ways as well. That And, right. you know, speed rap in places and all of that switching to have that, deli to deliver that so flawless in two weeks with, the, you know, the crowd kind of just wanting to see Trufo show up and beat him. Trufo just beat Geechee, after, just after got Geechee just beat out of Geechee. it. This is it. So we're just coming to watch you lose now because you, you shouldn't right. even be here type thing. So to not let any of that pressure affect him and to, like, I feel like he, from the first to the second round, he really kind of refined his style a little more, didn't mm -hmm. change it, didn't do anything um, out of the ordinary, but just tailored it to a tournament setting and kind of just condense some areas um and and just spot on spot on like i loved love that um love that battle so jc in the next round do you see him um yes. you know jc is jc right and the performances he's put in in this tournament alone never mind in the past year in his career mm -hmm. whatever he's he's a tough he's a tough guy to beat do you see she'd going all the way do you see him be beating jc and getting to the finals julian better duck <laughs> that's all i know julian okay. that's all i know julian better duck i Respect hear you him. i hear you He's shooting out here mm -mm. Mm, okay better get down. i'm looking forward to seeing this one i'm really looking forward to seeing that and i was saying the other day that um sheed is the sort of guy who who I think it's, I could see a non-classic, like JC is a great writer. He's a great pen. Yeah. He's a, Amazing. He's, he's, you know, he structures his shit beautifully, he delivers it well. Like mm. it, I think it takes someone unorthodox to beat him. Um, literally. Yeah. So I- like Literally, I'm, like that's kind of the key. And we reviewed the footage. It's, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a good battle. It's going to be a good battle. Him and JC is going to be a good battle. Okay. A great battle, in my personal opinion. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking this, this, um, this UM5 has produced some really, really top quality. Honestly, watchable, this one is my favorite. Yeah. This one is my favorite right now. Yeah, yeah no, they, these guys are on fire. Um, Henny said early early this one is going to be about hunger this one is going to be about it's not about yeah. geechees and the knees and clearly it's not because they've already fallen by the wayside <laughs> and um if you're asking me who's hungrier out of sheed and jc you know i don't know either of these guys personally but i would imagine 
there's a fire burning in Sheed's belly that 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 JC <laughs> just does not have um because he's you know he's accomplished he's done so much he's um, right, he's JC already this is it this is it um and I love that Sheed got to have that crazy performance to go into the next round with positivity mm -hmm. and confidence. Not that he didn't have the confidence before, no, he clearly does, but just to know the crowd is behind you, the audience, the supporters are finally getting it and, and rooting for you. That mm -hmm. um, that will do a, a long way. Absolutely, shout out my co-host in the section. Shout out Spiff. Shout out Spiff. <laughs> um, the who do you so he's gonna beat JC and then in the uh what's the other side swamp of France. France who do you Me? who would you prefer him to battle? I mean I don't know so I I like both of them but the way the way I see it is Sheed and Swamp opening up known okay that would be Me crazy personally. that's Out that's of, that's what I see. Out of all the names that entered the tournament, if those mm -hmm. two end up in the final, and they would really Everybody deserve it, this book. that's it. No one's winning any money. Nobody, Nobody. predicted this. No. Everybody thought it would be fucked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, no, this, um, and if you did, you're winning big time because the odds against these two being in the hey, final. If any, if anybody predicts that final battle correctly from the very beginning, mm -hmm. we need to have a conversation because mm -hmm. I might got to give you my job. Yeah, I, you know some things. I, yeah, you know something I don't know. <laughs> That's it. You know some things. Or you're just damn lucky. So give me your lottery numbers, please. <laughs> <I'm so sad. laughs> it's one of the two. I've got to get something for you. Um, uh, yeah, I'd love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. Um, and good luck to Sheed. Good luck to everyone. But, you know, I'm here with Kel. So good luck to Sheed. Um, wish you all the best going into the next one. Um mentioned you are a url crucible scout are you um the willingest url crucible scout are you that right. the most successful you right now for season two bills has one more pick than i do so bills is at the top with seven into phase two yeah. i think me me floss and maybe lex i think all three of us had six maybe I know I got six. I don't know about everybody else. I be worrying about myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, Bills. I don't know how he did it, but Bills got seven. He snuck one extra in there. I don't know how it happened, but yeah. Um, but I, I I feel like I'm 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 everybody's favorite scout, respectfully. It, it, it favorite certainly scout looks like that. that. Certainly looks like that. What um? So if I um um, what does Kells look for in a crucible tryout? um me personally i just like I, I like different shit like i'm i love i love a, an amazing pen i love an unorthodox style um because the, the thing about with pen and i'm gonna I'm use tycoon christ for an example shout out to him he has a crazy pen like you got it like it's so intricate you have to literally be listening and paying attention and i love that but then he comes with a performance with it too, like a sheet style performance a little bit. Like it's really fire. That's 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 what I personally be looking for. Not even saying like everybody has to be that when I potentially find you, but like that's what I aim for. An overall well-rounded battler or someone that we can work with to get you to being well-rounded. Yeah, yeah. Those diamonds in the rough that you can mm -hmm. polish up because no one's born big right but you can see nice. that potential you can see the ingredients and you just know what someone like you knows what they they need to work on to get them yeah. to where they need to be um i think that's about all of my questions um no i've got one um i always ask this question or i like this question you can answer as a crucible scout or from your own league owner experience but what is the wildest thing that you have seen in a battle? <clears throat> wildest thing wildest I've seen? Wildest could be funny, could be disgusting, could be crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry, hold on. That's all right. Like I said, is... hardest working person in battle rap. What the hell? I'm sorry, give me two seconds. I'm still thinking though. Um, it's okay. The wildest wild 
Hey, I'm I'm doing an interview, bro. Give me a second. You call me twice. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You've zoomed forward as well now. I'm not what? Sure. How the hell you <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yo, like it really zoomed in on my Indeed. entire face. Bro, <laughs> back on. Thankfully, it was at the end, to... not the beginning. I have no clue how to fix this because how did that even happen? Um, fuck it. I'll just lean back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, so, like, our league in general hella funny shit happens and i can even use she for an example and the person that just called me his name is slugger that's one of my that's literally my, like my very first client slugger battled your honor and randomly as hell what he had a bar and she literally from the door of the venue we're on stage from the door of the venue she literally yells objection <laughs> and like walks to the stage dressed as a lawyer and everything like it's fucking hilarious why am i zoomed in it's making me mad yeah we're we're about to wrap up anyway yeah, yeah i would perfect. not like to be that close perfect. so yeah i feel your discomfort what was that battle <laughs> your honor and who uh it's Slu- your honor and versus slugger, slugger. s-l-u-g-g-a yeah, yeah, it was yeah. hilarious it caught me so off guard <laughs> that's a random as well as a hilar- objection <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna object to a bar and then show Literally. up oh yeah hilarious okay well um i'm gonna watch that you should watch that too give me one more osbl battle that everyone needs to see Mm. shit uh well active duty is tomorrow sbe smoke versus surge off from active duty one you can see how team kills went 3-0 that's the very first drop that happened. As shout out to SBE Smoke, shout out to Serja, two of our rookies. They both went fucking crazy. But of course, the one I picked, SBE Smoke, won that battle clear as hell. Check that out. It just dropped yesterday. Okay, I'll definitely check that out. I might, well, I'm going to try and watch one next week on Caffeine, watch one of these OSBL matchups. I might watch your one on Slugger as well. Um, but yes, I'm going to end your discomfort. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> crazy, yeah. Um, I'm feeling it through the screen for you. I'm trying to bring myself closer to just even it up a little. <laughs> but Kels, thank you so, so much for coming on. You are welcome mm-hmm. to come back at any time, talk about any cards, any releases, anything you want. Um, okay. Shout out to you. Thank you for coming on. Um, anything you want to leave the people with? Um... June 18th, Sheet Happens versus Julian. <laughs> FM. <laughs> if you can pull up, we in Atlanta. Pop out. It's going to be lit. Round three, UM5, 100K on the line. Uh, that's a fact. And on that note, I think we will wrap up.